Validation warfare is the struggle between both the male and the female gender to fulfill existential satisfaction at the expense of the other gender in a form of destructive competition because of psychological differences resulting through gender roles and the cultural perceptions of expectation. All right, I am Manslave, and this is Disposable Human Doing, and we are the duo. Uh, of the Validation Warfare Project. Uh, we have our own YouTube channel. As you can see here, Validation Warfare is the name of our YouTube channel. <clears throat> and, um, well, anyway, um, the reason why I'm uh, bringing this up is because, um, well, um, the, we got a message from our buddy, Dr. Claw. Yes, what do you think about that? That's pretty biggish, which one? Dr. Claw. And, um, so anyway, um, I've got, I just now, just a minute ago, logged into, uh, 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 YouTube, and we got, um, we got a, no, no, wait, it's, uh, it's by somebody else, um, yeah. the Atheist Games. Uh, here's a nice ponage of her. Enjoy. Let's see what it goes to. Um, and okay. Um, here we go. Hey everyone, it's me, the Atheist Games, and today I'm going to respond to the Phenetheus Reborn again because. I don't know, I got nothing better to do. I know this video's a bit late, but, you know what, I feel like responding, so, what the heck. Oh, and this thing. Well, uh, apparently my father got this for free, and now I can now chat with people online without, you know, grabbing that humongous ass mic with me. You know, it's really, really long. The, 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 the cord is, yeah, you know, you, you get the idea. Uh, so, I guess I'll be willing to uh, chat with people on IMO. Not Skype, IMO. M maybe. But I will only be able to do that Monday to Thursdays. Fridays to Sundays. That's where I just put this right here on the PS3. So that way I can chat with people online stuff. Wasting time, let's just get this fucking video started. Hey everyone, so on October 22nd, 2012, the Femithius channel cemented a full partnership with YouTube. This is just another example of exactly whose side is gaining the favor here, and ironically enough, I have you all to thank for that. Big fucking whoop there, Princess Peach. I mean, there are other, other YouTubers out there who are partnered with YouTube. YouTube is definitely not on your side. YouTube doesn't pick sides, okay? Yeah. Let me just name a few people that have been partnered. The Amazing Atheist, Mr. Epsion, Omnision, Ray William Johnson, Undertaker Freak, The Archfiend. Hello? So while all of you dissenters sit and laugh at us and attempt to frighten us away and silence us, all because our views differ from yours, we laugh at all of you because you're all exactly the same, subscribing to the same lies and false forms of contemporary logic that have left your world burning time and time again. Uh-huh. Okay, uh, listen up, Princess Peach. We laugh back at you because... You're crazy, you're delusional, and sexist. Your logic makes as much sense as a goldfish living in the desert. You are all right. This this guy right here, uh, he's got a good point, and all that, and he's he's uh, he's taking out the trash. You know, I mean, Prometheus. Uh, so you know, I'm, right here, you see it. I'm gonna like his video, and. Um, all right, so you, you want to put in any commentary there? Not really, other than the fact it's like, yeah, she's kind of fucking retarded because anyone can get a YouTube account. I mean, it's not like they...
give you rigorous testing and ask, well, what, what are you doing here? Well, well, what exactly is your plan? So you want to exterminate women? Well, we're, we're perfectly okay with that. Meh. You have our full backing and support. Meh. It's like, no. Yeah, so, uh... So, I mean, any, anybody can be a YouTube partner. Like, like we could if we wanted to, right? I guess. What do you... What, I mean, I thought you... I thought she was just talking about accounts. What's a YouTube partner? No, you know, like, that's where, like, you know how, like, somebody gets their own unique background and not like the Amazing Atheist, his oh, YouTube okay, channel looks a lot more. different. Th I thought you could just do that. You have to... Well, like, if, 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 if I would have just done it already, if it could be... Now, it used to be... So what do you, they, pay them in order to, like... Well, I think it's, like, it has to do with, you know, you monetize your videos and all that and, like, integrate with them because, see, used to, you could change your background and dictate your background picture and it was, yeah. you know, really customizable, but, like... I think they did a I think they did a format change and then like things are different now and it's not exactly the same. I mean, you know what I'm saying, right? Yeah. And uh, you need to go pet it. Well, anyway, still, I mean, if you want, basically anyone can do it, right? It's not uh, like it's some special fucking award. I guess. And uh, but you no, know, the, 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 I think what what the um, I think what. I think what Dr. Claw is using it for is to basically say that she's got more support of the estab of the powers that be. I mean, do you see it that way? I guess she thinks that like they are totally like, oh yeah, we we know what you're saying and we agree, and men should be fucking eradicated. But that's not the case. Well, yeah, I think she's trying. Well, she she tries to use it for like. Oh, well, it just shows what side is winning the war. Mur, mur. Yeah. Well, she fucking hates it, so whatever. I mean, like, yeah, but... Mm -hmm. um, so anyway, she... Um, what she does, she tries to suggest that her views are the ones that people want to hear. And that YouTube is agreeing and, like, marketing those views to people. I guess something. I mean, well, something is, like that. She's fucking nuts, but whatever. No, it's because she hates it. I mean, come on. And uh, I'm just adjusting my uh, audio levels and stuff. Um, just trying to get the maximum volume without clippage. You know what I'm saying? Because my software, well, the the um, <clears throat> the um. You know how it is with the uh, with the recording software. This this screen capture, you know, Kazam. I don't really have any ability to adjust any settings in there. You know, so you can go pet some. Argue that we are wrong while using the same trite, misogynistic arguments to validate your points. You know, I just love it on how feminists use the word misogyny. You know, as if they even know the meaning of the word misogyny. I mean, what's really consider a misogyny argument, okay? Is it, you know, telling you that you're an idiot? No, seriously, what's a misogyny argument that you can tell me? If some guy said to you, women shouldn't be able to vote or women shouldn't be able to do this or that, then that's misogyny, but what other arguments is considered misogyny no here's a question well i mean then again since you know she says misandry doesn't exist and therefore yeah, exactly you know d does misogyny really exist Apparently not because i mean if they're gonna try and god and say that you know it's essentially like saying that you can't feel like you know for instance like if you tell a poop mouth like is it is it like gaslighting yeah, pretty much. It's telling telling someone else that they can't experience a feeling that they that they feel. Like, well, no, you don't feel that. Meh. It's like it'd be like you know if a poop mouth is bitching about uh you know well I feel like that man sexually harassed me. Well, no, you no. They'd be like saying no, you don't. You don't feel that. Well, yeah, I do. No, you don't. Yeah. And you know these people don't know how to fucking pet it, and that's why we have so many goddamn problems. Like, um, uh, do you think we can get this on 
Blu-ray or DVD or what? Is it on Blu-ray? <laughs> I wish it was on Blu-ray. Um, it's not on Blu-ray. No, I don't see it. I'm going to look for it. Really? Hmm. Is it? Let me see what this says. Bronco Baby Chindle does. Um. His soul is legendary. And, uh. I don't know if it actually is on, uh, well, you know, we get on, you know, we would get it on DVD anyway, so we could transcode it and keep it on our hard drives, and then, uh, um, you, you did unmount that, right? Nope, but it wasn't mounted, so. One can hope. Well, one can hope it wasn't fucking mounted, so. Well, like, yeah, one could hope that it wasn't mounted so that you didn't corrupt your file well, system. Well, it wasn't mounted or I wouldn't have pulled that fucking cord out. And it's okay. not even turning on, so... What the fuck? It's running. Well, it's got power over here. Okay, there it is. Take care Oh, uh, okay, yeah. And, uh... So, anyway... <clears throat> and, uh... So, anyway, yeah, we could basically rip and transcode the movie, store it on an external USB hard drive, uh, where we store a bunch of our movies you know we have all these dvds that we bought and uh especially all the gosh i got this huge box full of dvd movies that i've accumulated over the years and then i um you know and then i rip and transcode them um into h.264 uh, and then i um uh, you know and then i've got you know that i got this basically library of study i'll show you where um well i don't have it on well, here's some of the stuff I got on here. You can see it on the screen here, all these videos from all these different people. Here's our stuff right here. But, um, you know, the the the, the, uh, the validation warfare. You know, I, I, yeah, I got our own video library here. Uh, I got a bunch of Barbarossa stuff. Now, this is, this is on my computer right here. This is not on the external hard drive. Uh, Stardust, I got a bunch of his stuff. Um... But anyway, um, yeah, Gaslight, it's like 14 bucks. Let's see, uh, new, um, you know, you see, you get from Amazon there. You can get it from these other sellers, which is actually kind of pricey. It'd be nice if they had it in the value bin at Walmart, but they don't. Uh, now look at this. This is what's weird. You can get it used at a higher price than you can get it new. That's stupid. Yeah, dude, that's messed up. Um, but um, let's get on with this video here. What argument isn't considered misogyny in your opinion? You say men build and own this world, but then state they are not to blame for everything that's so wrong with it. No the males have led almost every... No, no one fucking said that we own the goddamn world. Okay. Fuck. Except for feminists. Yeah, I know. Like, literally, um, I mean, if we won the world, why the fuck would we be working shit jobs all the time? I mean, why? if we own the world, then why the fuck do I live in a goddamn trailer with yeah. no internet connection? Yeah, and, I like, mean, no, no car. And why would I live in an apartment that's about as old as I am? Yeah. I mean, if we rule the fucking world, then, then why, why, why are we, uh... Why are we working some of the shittiest jobs? Yeah, and is this just, is this male privilege? Is that what it's like? Because you know, now check your privilege. Yeah, seriously, what a fucking stupid bitch. Because no one no one said that. Did like where did you hear it? Show 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 us where you heard it from. Because you know, as far as I know, no one person can speak for the entirety of their gender. Thank hmm. fuck. Hmm. Otherwise, you know. Your whack ass shit would like, god damn. <laughs> Does she need to go pet some? Definitely. But she won't, right? Well, obviously. She's just gonna hate it. She's gonna hate it nonstop. Mm hmm. I'm gonna get back to this here. Single war out of the approximately 
this world, but then state they are not to blame for everything that's so wrong with it. The males have led almost every single war out of the approximately 3,010 wars throughout human history. And you... <laughs> now, now, how do you know the exact number of wars? 3,010, is that what she said? You fucking know. She's ridiculous. And, and where she said, I'm glad she caught herself and said almost every war... Uh, Margaret Thatcher, 1980s. Remember? Yeah, I remember. Well, I mean, I don't, I wasn't alive, but I know what happened. Some poop mouth woman who's in control of, you know, what was it, Britain or whatever. Yeah, decided England. to land off a ton of fucking men to die in the Falklands War. Yep. Get shot the fuck with goddamn Belgian weapons and, and like, blow each other to pieces with, uh, 7.6 NATO. Yep. Uh, yeah, I was a, um. I was alive back then, so I know. Uh, I mean, I didn't, I was a kid, you know, so I didn't know exactly what was going on. But, um, you know, I was alive back then, so I know what she was talking about. And uh, I just got to make sure I tighten this up here. Uh, here we go. Uh, now, this is... Uh, and okay, um, oops, I just gotta make sure that's all good. No wobble, all right, there we go. Now I can turn this mic and not wobble and get all kind of problems. I need to get me a condenser mic, those things are a lot more sensitive. Yeah, they're not to blame. Males commit the majority of all crimes worldwide, and most crimes are male on male or male on female, and yet they're not to blame. Males have barred women from virtually everything oh, in history, wow. denied us the opportunities and freedoms that were rightfully ours. Yeah, well, here's the thing, Timothy, is there are factors on why we were dominant throughout history, and, well, probably, you know, men will still probably commit the majority of crimes, and majority of rape because well let's just put it this way because women now control the media yeah yeah exactly it's whatever they say whatever they say happens happens it doesn't matter if it actually does it doesn't matter if it actually has any fucking anything backing it it doesn't matter I mean, it's like, cause, cause, well, if you deny women uh, the ability to be in journalism, then, then you're an asshole misogynist and you're a patriarchy upholder. I mean, patriarchy theory is such goddamn crazy black chopper conspiracy bullshit. Yep, on to this video here. You know, we're men. It's what we do. We can do that stuff. Let's... Well... Um, yeah, I don't really think that's a great way to... Wow. Yeah, uh, the Atheist Games, you kind of need to, um... That's not... Yeah, that's that's not, a, that's not quite right. I mean, maybe you do that stuff, but, you know, we don't, and we do not condone that. Yeah, and... I mean, maybe we misunderstood him, but from what I understand, he just... I, I'm pretty sure I know what he just said. Yeah, it's like, well, that's just what men yeah, do. we can do that stuff. No, we we don't want to do those things, and we don't do those things. Yeah, I mean, no. personally, some other people may choose to, but we do not condone that. Yeah, and and no disrespect to the uh, to the atheist games that YouTube user, but it just like that's not really the proper response to like what she was saying. I mean, like, most men do not commit rape. Uh, most men have absolutely no interest in rape. That's why in the bedroom, so many women have to just fucking encourage men and, and fucking motivate them and, and, and really basically pressure them into doing the shit that women find attractive, like fucking, like, choking them and slamming them up against the wall like my f former girlfriend wanted me to do to her because for some reason that turns her on. Now, some people like the hair pulling and all this other stuff. And, I mean, they just, well, you know, the rape play is what Barbarossa was talking about. And I guess it's like, you know, like, 
primitive primal urges like surfacing and manifesting i guess it's shit that like they need to have satisfied or like whatever it's just like you know going out you know on a camping trip and you know if you need light you got a flashlight you know i mean all my flashlights are led you know the light emitting diodes so i got some of the newest shit and i actually bought it back when it first hit the market uh, or, you know, in the first few years of it hitting the market, I was basically the first person I knew of to have an LED flashlight. So I'm up with the times. And so, you know, if you need, you know, to have light, you know, you can get you an LED lantern, which I have, runs on uh, 4D batteries and that sort of thing. But why do people feel it necessary to start up a fire you know, surrounded by rocks so it doesn't spread out into dangerous areas, you know, because they want the light and the warmth and the sound and all this other stuff, and it reminds them of that utility resource that fire has always been. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, right now, the electricity that operates all of our equipment in this apartment right now that we're using, my computer, everything, even the Internet servers around here, you know, that that electricity is provided by an electrical, um, uh, you know, a, a power plant on the river over here and that operates on coal. And that coal is burned with fire in order to produce steam to turn the turbine to then power the generator and to generate electricity for my apartment and even for you to hear my voice right now because my record recording equipment operates on that um and so fire is very utilitarian your car you know basically ignites gasoline and burns it you know like a fire uh to move you around same thing with uh the jet airplane that people fly on um the you know the, the bus that people ride on in the city and so fire is like this reliable backbone utility thing and this just gets into the whole like ancestral kind of stuff but I mean like you know the atheist games that guy he, I'm not trying to disrespect you but like you need to probably take lessons from us I mean, not even that. You need to just basically. That's not the right response because then the, it, it it just it causes a massive shitstorm. Because then let's say they decide to you know well, well man I like this because look at what this guy said and then they use you as an example and you become you know the center of a shitstorm and it just causes a ton of crap and it's like I don't even you don't even appear to actually. I mean, maybe he's being sarcastic, but who knows? I don't know. Anyway. Well, yeah, it's just... I mean, because what... The, the response that the Atheist Games had just given to the Femetheist kind of validates... It's like throwing fucking fuel on the fire, because... Yeah, it does. I mean, it's like coming up to a burning house and trying to put out the fire with a fucking tanker truck of gasoline. Yeah, pretty much, because it's just going to make it even more ridiculous it's just gonna get larger and it's like maybe you just maybe maybe he said it without thinking but god damn that's like one of the worst things you could say because it just puts it, it perpetuates the stereotype that you know men are what the Prometheus says we are which we aren't yeah I mean it's like you gotta understand it's name alt not all men are like that you know what I'm saying all right, let's continue on with this. <clears throat> let's go back in time around this era. Oh, 300. It's a real man, by the way. Okay, back then, men were dominant because of our physical strength. It's because we can handle pain, we can lift up heavy objects, and men are probably more energetic back then, Women. Women. Well, like, to the atheist games, that YouTube user, you, you also got to understand, 
why men are like this. They've also been conditioned for thousands of years, uh, beginning at birth and going through childhood, how they were treated. I mean, it still continues today. Me and the disposable human doing, we were in Walmart, and we were looking at the Lego toys for boys, and it's all about, you know... They're not even specifically marketed towards boys because they're just fucking Legos. Regardless of what the feminist frequency says, you know... They are just Legos. It, I mean, what is so gender specific about uh, Lego City? It's just a city. Fuck. I mean, it's got a hospital. It has like a hospital set, and there's like uh, a recycling center set. There's a helicopter. It, it's just normal shit. And you know, it's not marketed towards anyone specific. And you know, Fumiti's bitch is about, uh, or not Fumiti, sorry. Um, Anita Sarkeesian. Anita Sarkeesian, the feminist frequency, you know, bitches in one video or whatever about, you know, how oh, oh, there are to be Legos for girls. And when they make Legos market specifically towards young girls, stereotypically young girls, mm -hmm. she gets pissed at that. Like, what did you want it to be? Well, uh, what's okay. wrong with the normal Legos? And then the new ones, it's like, they may be stereotypical, but uh, to you, but what else would they be? I mean, how would they be marketed towards girls if they were anything else? Because what they were before, which was gender neutral, wasn't good enough. Well, see, you know, I'm in my early 30s, and Legos, when I was a little kid, were com they, they were completely gender, gender neutral. I mean, all they were literally was p colored plastic blocks, and you put them together and build stuff. It was, it was basically like building blocks, and it was taking over for the whole cultural thing the cultural it was taking over the cultural place of lincoln logs and things like that and uh <clears throat> anyway and i think in the 1980s they had just started you know when i was a little kid they were just starting to introduce trees and things that weren't made out of blocks and then uh well i was looking at the lego city and then they got you know they got you know they do have some gender specific things in the Lego City, in the Lego City, like you know for the police, and then they got the uh, don't they got some of them with like construction jobs and all that? Yeah, they do. I and mean, I mean, but seriously, you know who's keeping women from getting into those fields? No one. And they also got, you know, sets for females. But see, you know, the male toys, because, see, I got a kid, and I was looking at, you know, toys. And, you know, they got the Nerf gun, so, you know, it steers you toward firearms. They got the, you know, the dump trucks and the, you know, and and they, they got this stuff that's, you know, about building the world, you know, taking care of the world and all that. And then the girl stuff is baby dolls, and, it, it, of course, it's all, like, iconically pink because most of the boys toys are not all blue you see yellow orange white you see a lot of colors except for pink and then for girls everything's pink and purple um and then um see that was like a marketing choice is like well we're marketing these towards young women so or young girls, not even young women, young girls, and they just do what's, you know, been, that's the whole thing. Everything in the girls' aisle at Walmart, it's pink, purple, th those type of, those colors or whatever. And, um, you know, honestly, if fucking Femiti, goddamn, I'm sorry, if the, Arne Anita, Anita Sarkeesian, the feminist frequency, if she has a fucking problem with Legos, why doesn't she go get a goddamn job at, at the Lego Corporation and she can make these fucking decisions and, 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 and decide and nitpick on, on what's good enough? Well, I mean, would would uh, the company that owns Legos, would they even pay her as much money as she wanted? Because, I mean, after all, this summer of, of, you know, this summer 2010, I mean 2012, I'm sorry, you know, in the summer of 2012, just uh, about six months ago, she did run off with $160,000 yeah. uh, of contributors' money and didn't even produce... A video and didn't even produce the video series that they thought that they were donating money to, uh, so that they could see these videos be produced. Um, and uh, so, uh, yeah, and then <clears throat> I mean, she just basically ran off with a hundred and sixty thousand dollars. And then, from what I hear from reports, she may be getting some more money. Um, 
you know, touring the country and speaking at colleges and universities and events and all that. I mean, fuck, it's like she's made out of money. And you see all those video game consoles. They're all 7th generation game consoles in her videos. And, you know, you see an Xbox 360, PlayStation 3, and a Wii, right? Yeah. yeah. That's what I saw. And then, you know, she's got a really nice video camera. All this money for all this equipment i mean like and 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 fairly nice looking furniture it's like she's made out of money of course what does she do well her de facto job is basically rallying society around the cry of the vagina and we are oversimplifying that but that's what it really comes down to she always fits everything for this victim narrative of females while at the same time well at the same time she tries to say that you know women are strong and independent and then it's men that are weak and pathetic and you know this and recently the uh that cynical cynicism uh which i know the guy's real name and i'm not going to mention it uh you know i'm going to protect his identity and just you know, like I want people to do for me, you know, I just want people to call me manslave, and, um, anyway, uh, that cynical cynicism recently, you know, in the last few days, uh, has had a really good video, uh, that we watched, yeah, it, it was really good. and, I mean, it was really good, so there, uh, and, and, um, hold on, um, oh, but anyway, and it's, like, um, um, I'm just gonna bring it up. All right. And the, the video is titled The Feminist Privilege. And I highly recommend it. You know, it's, it's, you know, it's manslave approved. It's, the disposable human doing approved. Yeah, I mean, it was, really it was a good video, and it's like, damn, this guy. I mean, he's got a clue, and here it is, right here. You know, the feminist privilege, and it's by uh, that cynical cynicism, and he's only been on YouTube for like six months. You know, almost six and a half months, and look, he's got nine hundred and seven subscribers. You know, 48,158 video views, and he deserves every bit of it because he's really good. Um, and, um, anyway, um, yeah, that's who I recommend watching. He's a really good YouTube guy. Um, and, uh, are you serious? Yeah. Who, who did it? I don't know. Just... A YouTube channel called Petsum. P E T S U M. God damn it. And like, the f I thought we had a monopoly on that word. It, I don't think he knows what Petsum means. I think he just has, like, it's just pictures of fucking, like, it's like pictures of nature. <laughs> he yeah, doesn't know what Petsum is. He can fuck off. I mean, damn. Like, hold on, man. Like,. Uh, all right, I I gotta I gotta see this for myself. Like, oh my gosh, this dude! He, seriously, he don't even have a clue. He don't even know what pet sum is. Yeah, who knows why he chose that name? But he does not have the same definition of pet sum as we do. I know he he don't even know about the beak or the beak's teachings. No, and chances are he hates it. Well, maybe. Um, what do you mean maybe? He doesn't know what the beak is, therefore. As far as we we know, he hates it. Like, well, it's Peter Summerill. Oh, okay. And like he. <sighs> Does betrayal quite fit? I mean, like you know what I'm saying. Yeah, it's disappointing. But, I mean, really, it's like his pet son is just not the same. Okay? I mean, it's spelled the same, but it doesn't mean the same thing. Yeah. Apparently, there's a pet son Productions, too. 
I saw it on Google. <laughs> pet some pr- presentations. So next time we go around saying pet some, and people are like, well, that's weird and creepy. We should be like, look it up on the internet. I mean, damn. They don't even know what it is, so, you know, it's well, like, just, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, go just look, look up. up pet some. Well, here, let's look it up on Google. You know, it's like... I mean... <laughs> Look what I see. Family facts for pets, huh? That's all I didn't know what it was. Ancestry.com. Uh, origin, you know, surname, Petsum. Pretty hardcore. Beak. Oh my gosh. Like. <laughs> Ask a lawyer. Pet law. <laughs> Look, it's on there, dude. Oh, man. Oh, man. Pet God. law. <laughs> Anchorage Doggy Daycare. She needs a fucking pet song. Yeah, you do need to pet it, but you won't. You just hate it. She hates it. Oh, yeah. So, anyway, this dude, he uh, he needs to get it. And uh, uh, let's get on to this video. They can't even defend themselves against wild animals or, you know, even other men. Because what? this and this... No, no, no. Women can defend themselves against most men just fine. All they gotta do is cry rape yeah, or, or pretend to be a victim, and then all the other men Man in the environment pour out of the will come to the rescue and beat the fuck out of what man threatens her. Yep. It's true. I mean, like... I mean, she can take... She can turn any man against any other man. Yeah, and not only that, is if... You know, well, I can't protect myself. It's like, yeah, they can. You know, we live in a fucking society where you can go buy a goddamn gun and carry a gun if you're so scared of getting raped to pieces. <laughs> Fuck. It's like, it's not like you have to worry about, well, what if I shoot somebody and then I have to defend myself in court and no one will believe me? Of course they will. Because we also live in a society where everyone fucking thinks that, you know, you know, oh, well, he raped her. Of course he did. She she would never make it up. Mar. She would never cry rape unless it really happened. Mar. Oh, fucking bullshit. Like that. You get the fucking idea. And another important factor on why men were dominant is because of religion. Those who are very, very religious, you need to take a second look at the Bible, Okay. And if, is, if you really, really want to bring equality to this world, you would pretty much... Uh, there, there's where you're wrong right there, um, the atheist games. I mean, well, you, you might... Well, okay, what I mean is... <laughs> okay, you, you're falling into the trap, dude, because... The Prometheus doesn't want equality between no, the no, genders. No, 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 no. <laughs> okay, like, just, okay, the Atheist Games, just because you might want equality between the genders in terms of treatment, because equality of outcome can never be guaranteed with so many variables in the equation, but you can at least treat everybody the same and all that. I mean, you know, or, or a system can treat everybody the same, but, you know, like, everybody has their own strengths and weaknesses, and because of that, you know, an equality of outcome is just not possible, because in order to do that, you will have to, for, you know, a person managing the system will have to do it at an expense to an equality of treatment. You know, equality of treatment will have to just be, you know, set aside so that an equality of outcome can be achieved, and see, for the atheist games, this this guy on YouTube, he might want equal equality of treatment between the male and female genders, but you need to understand, dude, the Femetheus doesn't want that. She just wants female supremacy. I mean, fuck, dude. I mean, come on. Wants ninety nine percent of men to not exist anymore. I mean, how the fuck is that equality? Yeah, exactly. It's not equality. You know, no, it's 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 female supremacy. It it is, and she needs to go pet it. Beak, beak. But I mean, like, 
people, they just don't get it. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I mean, there's not going to be an equality uh, of... Of outcome. Well, because I mean, yeah. That, that's right, it's not. I mean, everything's highly variable. I mean, what do you think about this guy's point? I don't... I, I think it's bad. It's almost... It's detrimental because it's like, you know, if we're making, if we make progress and then, you know, people see this stuff, they're going to think, you know, it just, it's bad because it's not, instead of actually apply, replying in a smart and thought out, like, I mean, I realize, you know, who gives a fuck if you hurt women's feelings when you're saying your point, but this is just like, you're just telling them what they want to hear. They want to see more people do this shit. Because then they can bitch about it. Yeah, I mean, why, okay, why do women say they don't want drama, but yet they always seek it out? That's true. But that's not even what I mean. I mean, in general, like, if they see, you know, this is the kind of stuff they want to have as proof that men are assholes. I mean, for all you know, your video could be used as, like, figure one. When the overseer takes control, she brought figure one, and she men are bad, and men are bad, and... Men are bad, <laughs> and then she—it's uh, just bad. It's not—it's not good to have this viewpoint where it's just like, well, we're men, we're allowed to do these things. No, we're not, and that's the problem. Like, we're not allowed to do these things any more than poop mouths shouldn't be allowed to do. You know what I mean? Like, it's—it's it's simply just, you know, everyone knows what's right and what's wrong. And, you know, I hope that this guy, the atheist games, I hope he doesn't get his feelings hurt. Cause yeah, we're not... no, I don't, I don't, I'm not saying this exactly. dick, but it's like, <clears throat> please don't fucking say this shit. I and mean, if you believe it, then okay, but don't associate yourself with people that, you know, we don't condone violence against women or rape or any of these things. Or violence against anybody. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, and, like, I'm not saying that this guy does. I'm not saying that the atheist yeah, games yeah, yeah. does. But, like, I'm just, I mean, obviously, our viewpoint and his viewpoint or our expressions will most likely differ. And I don't want him to feel bad about this, about this critiquing. Um, you know, it's just, you know, because I admire his efforts for trying to handle... The, the Femetheus. We call yeah. her Dr. Claw. Yeah, Dr. Claw. And, and then, like, and then he did take the effort to contact us and all that. And he's welcome to contact us, be in contact. It's all great. I mean, you know, we may or may not respond because of we just may or may not have time or whatever the circumstances might be. Um, you know, but, like, it just, you know, it's like, you know, if you're going to fight these people, you can't fucking validate their viewpoint. Exactly. Because yeah, all yeah, it does yeah. is legitimize, all it does is legitimize what they say and then you lose. Yeah, because you're essentially giving, like we've already said, you're giving her fuel for the fire. You're telling her that, yeah, I, I do do these things and I don't care. And it's like, no, you know, that's not accurate because, uh, well, the other thing is, if you say these things, they're going to take it as, you know, well, like, this is how all men think. Meh. And it's not true because we don't. Yeah, I mean, like, especially since consequences, uh, consequences are, are so often reserved for the male gender. Yeah. Because society knows that, that you know, we're capable of bearing respon you know that we as men are capable of, res of of bearing responsibility for consequences otherwise they wouldn't expect so much out of us you know what i'm saying yeah exactly i mean like it's like your heart's in the right place but like fuck we we don't need we don't need to give them any more goddamn ammunition for their guns especially when most of what they already throw out there is is total complete biased bullshit you know, I mean, they don't pet some, and we do, and they need to fucking acknowledge that. Well, I mean, like, he's gonna have to, like, I think he's gonna have to do a bunch of study, like we do, and, like, oh God, he needs to be in our think tank. 
Yeah, I don't know, but chances are he's ge geographically, you know, somewhere else. Well, yeah, he might... Well, here's the thing, like... You know, we need to branch out and, like... I mean, just because somebody lives in a different geographical area doesn't mean that they can't be part of our think tank. After all, we got somebody in Russia who we want... What the fuck? Why does this keep amounting? I don't know. Maybe it's loose or something like that, or maybe it's like... There's... I don't know why. Um... Um... Well, I mean, it's not valid, so I guess it's fucking... Well, I don't think that's a factor. I don't, I don't think there's dirt in it. I think it's more like a loose connection here or that or some kind of other problem. But, um... We'll continue to, like, I want to see where this goes. Okay. Fuck some? Hmm. Meat and ice cream, in this case, you want to know. Abolish the fucking Holy Bible, okay? Let's just forget the Holy Bible completely. Let's just, you know, choose to believe in a God or not to believe in a God. It should be that fucking simple. And yet somehow you think that you can pass the blame to us, we, the women, who are currently around 70% of the world's most impoverished people due to lesser opportunities and poor conditions, we... <laughs> lesser opportunities, huh? Yeah, well... Poor conditions. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll tell you, Dr. Claw, the Femetheist, your gender, the female gender, is also about 70% of the people who, ad who initiate divorce. Yeah. I mean, yeah. fuck. I mean, one out of two marriages in this country, America, result in divorce. And that's just here. Yeah. And so half of all marriages in America result in divorce. But of the marriages that result in, the div in, in divorce, 70% of the time that the marriage results in divorce is because the female is divorcing the guy and the most common reason given is that she's not 1000% satisfied yeah. with the guy. Yeah, it's like what is it the different not difference of opinion. It's like uh, recon re unreconcilable uh, differences. Yeah. Fucking bullshit. I mean, fuck, like But you know what? You know what unreconcilable differences really means? They don't pet it. <laughs> Aside from that. Uh nope. What it means is the person who, like, is considering it to be unreconcilable uh, or irreconcilable differences is basically a person who doesn't understand what marriage as a relationship is supposed to be about. Yeah, pretty much, because they don't think of it as, you know, it's supposed to be two people who are willing to compromise in order to be together interact and, and exist together and it's it's all about compromise and making sacrifices and give and take but according to them it's only take i mean most women it's, it's only take they don't really give I mean, a shit exactly and and the fact that women are the most common gender to initiate divorce and and you know, and it's because they're not one hundred percent, or because they're not one thousand percent satisfied with a man, or even because of irreconcilable differences. It just tells you there that women expect everything to revolve around their happiness and well-being, even if it Every has to come at the expense thing. of other people. Yeah. Gotta now look out for number one. Now. It's just a testament to the inherent selfishness of the female gender. Oh, yeah. I mean, look at the romance novels. I mean, it's all in there. And and that's like the benchmark for where these poop mouths... Yeah, that's, that's, their... that's their model for how men should be. Yeah. You know, like in Fight Club, you know, our fathers were all our models, models for, for God. God. Our fathers left us. What does that tell us about God? Our fathers yeah. deserve us. What does that tell us about God? <clears throat> and, but see, like... You know, the expectations that women are, you know, the object 
that women base their expectations for is is how men are portrayed in romance novels. And, I mean, that's why they sell. Fuck. I mean, look at how formulaic, redundantly formulaic yeah. a romance novel is and how utterly fucking ridiculous it is. Yet this industry has survived for decades. Yeah, and it will continue to go on. And, yeah, and so to the atheist games, dude, come on. Communicate with us. Correspond and all that. Learn these things, dude. I mean, fuck. You can't just be like, well, I want to get some pushy and, and they're not putting out, so I'm pushed. Or however, you know, like so many guys are. I mean, you got to get beyond that. You can't try to fucking play the game by the rules that women set for you because they set those rules for you so that you will lose, so that they will have control of you, so that they will get what they want. You got to learn how to beat them at their own fucking game. Matter of fact, the only way to pl the only way to win is not to play, <clears throat> not yeah. to play the game yeah. their way. And then, you know, so what we want to do is, you know, women say, "Well, men should give us our space." Exactly, because what we should just do is what a lot of a lot of the times what women say they want us to do. We'll just treat them like they say you know, they want us to do, and then just watch it, how they get fed up and pissed and frustrated and, and, and tired and bored and all that, and, and to show the disconnect they have with reality and all that to where they say, well, I want a nice guy, and then, so it's be all, nice to it's him. It's all fucking dignity. It, exactly. It's all about dignity. Preservation of dignity. I they mean. Don't want, they don't want to appear for what they actually are. Exactly, and that's why they're because women. They know that you know when men behave uh, hypergamously, supposedly. Whenever you know men are looked at as like, why? Are, basically, the women's argument: Why are men allowed to fuck whoever they want? Man, man. And and everyone looks down on that. Well, you can, you know what I mean. They, it's looked at as a bad thing, and they don't want to be looked at as being the same as men. So they choose to have a different. Way of doing things, I guess. And you know, you know what this reminds me of. It's like you and I both know this in the workplace. You know, it's like the work needs to be done, but there's a lot of people that don't want to do it. Exactly. So, and like, there's usually, what, some people who don't want to get fired, so they do it. And you know, and so like, the work needs to be done, but there's a lot of people that don't want to do it, so they fucking find somebody to do the shit for them. Yep. You know, and then, um. Um, I mean, they want the benefit, but without the sacrifice or the cost. Yep, and it's pretty fucking shitty of them. I mean, relationships and employment are so similar on so many levels because they, they both involve so many of the same uh, choices. Concepts. Uh, concepts, choices... Uh, uh, decisions, sacrifices, trade-offs, benefits, detriments, you know, policies, and all this other stuff. I mean, basically what feminism is, is a way to dignify and disguise and conceal... The um, true nature of females? Pretty much, in here, you know, the, the true nature of females. And... So if they go and act all fucking dumbass like, then what's a man's fault? It's a damn patriarchy. <laughs> man! Yep. I mean, fuck, dude. I mean, come on, dude. Wake the fuck up. I mean, like, I mean, go listen to some Beyonce and Kelly Kelly Clarkson. Um. Taylor Swift and Carrie Underwood and, and fuck who else like I mean, I mean dude I mean to the atheist games I mean I totally like respect you know and and I'm glad I'm I'm, I'm happy for you that you're trying to take on Dr. Claw yeah, but you have power to anyone that wants to take on her Putin Mallory. But but you're also gonna have to understand that like, you know, 
Dr. Claw is like in our crosshairs. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Well, I mean, anyone else is welcome to take a shot at Oh, him, yeah, but... I mean, but I'm just saying, like, you're going to have to be on our level in order to fucking deal with that shit. Because, well, well, I mean, it's just like the, the, tri the types of people who we're trying to work ourselves up to being able to take down. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, mean, I want to go after, well, we've been handling Dr. Claw and, and dealing with her shit. And all that for, I don't know, a couple months or, well, at least a month or whatever. And I've been keeping track exactly. Uh, we've been, and, and matter of fact, she's like one of the reoccurring people who keeps contacting me. Yeah, she's sadly uh, pretty open-minded. Well, not open-minded, but she's fairly... Um, fairly... Cooperative? Uh, I would, yeah, cooperative, I guess you'd say. I wouldn't say respectful, but... She uh, at least will uh, comment. Uh, yeah, she'll anything. at least respond and have dialogue and communication. Mm -hmm. um, and to my knowledge, she has not blocked us or flagged any of our stuff, which is fine. So then that then we don't have a reason to do it to her. You know, you know we can leave. Her, I mean, she can have her stuff up on YouTube, and we can have our stuff up on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's fine. We can disagree and bitch at each other and, and be enemies or whatever, but we're both allowing each other to speak, and that's what's acceptable. It's pet some injustice for all. Huh. So anyway, dude, I want to tackle Anita Sarkeesian and start making videos in response to her. Mm. And then Lacey Green. Mm. And who else? Um, Rebecca Watson. Rebecca Watson. I've already did one video to her, but I don't think she's been on YouTube lately because she's, I think she's touring around the country, you know, spewing hating. hate speech. Yeah, yeah, spewing venomous hate speech, just like Anita Sarkeesian, because Sarkeesian hasn't been on the paid, internet for months. They get paid to hate. Pretty much. And, so anyway, and look, they can, they can say all this negative shit about men. But watch when they try to say it about blacks or Jews or Hispanics or China or Asians mm -hmm. or anybody else. It's instantly recognized for what it is, which is hatred and bigotry and, and stereotypical negativity and all that. When this kind of stuff is done, is, is said toward um, an ethnic, you know, a person of an ethnic background. But, you know, the Fometheist and, 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 um, and Anita Sarkeesian, and all these other, you know, feminists and stuff, uh, Valerie Solanas, who is very violent. I mean, she went on a shooting spree back in the 1960s. Crazy fucking kind. Yeah, and, like, practically got a slap on the wrist for it. Anyway. Sounds fair to me. Um, sarcasm emphasized. Yeah. And they spew all their hatred for, and they spew their hatred at the only group of whom it is socially acceptable to do it to, which is the men. Which shows that these fuckers are cowards. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Like, Valerie Solanus's book, uh, titled The Scum Manifesto. The Society for Cutting Up Man. Oh, yeah. Is that the best title she could come up with? It's pretty it's damn so, childish. It's so fucking stupid. <laughs> so anyway, dude. Uh, but but didn't she know she's a great aspiring leader? Oh yeah, yeah. and she's like completely benevolent and peaceful in her. Like, I mean, goals. oh yeah, I mean shooting Andy Warhol with a pistol. Oh, you know, she shot when? Oh, I didn't know it was Andy Warhol she tried to shoot. Oh yeah, and then you know doing that by invading his 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 office space and his personal areas and all that. I mean, oh that's I mean that's the right thing to do. I mean that's a sign of a true leader, man. <laughs> Mm. So anyway, I mean, the scum man, the shooting. So anyway, you take Valerie Solanus's book titled the "Scum Manifesto." Take the word "men" out of her book and put in blacks or Jews or Hispanics, uh, Hispanics or Asians or any other group, and then watch how people will. Identify it for what it is, which is hatred. But leave the word men in there, you know, with all her negativity. And then everybody just, 
you know, they just go about their business like, yeah, it's them damn men, they keep causing problems in society. <laughs> Man. Alright, play this and eat some more ice cream. Pet some. Damn. We are to blame, and you call us insane. You all sit there and say these delusions of you. Well, Prometheus, actually, I'm gonna call you a coward because you pick on the only group who is socially acceptable. You pick on the easy targets of of criticism, which are men. You know, so you're you're a coward, and you're the problem. Oh man, reading about, right now I'm reading about uh, Valerie Solanas' shooting spree she went on. Yeah, and it's uh, it's pretty pretty uh pretty revealing. Basically, she didn't get her way, and that's why she went on the shooting. That's what it seems like. I haven't read the whole thing yet, but... Anyway, apparently she shot a... Shot at Andy Warhol three times. The first two shots missed. The third one went through his left lung, spleen, stomach, liver, esophagus, and finally his right lung. Then she shot at art critic Marlo Amaya above the right hip, tried to shoot Warhol's manager Fred Hughes in the head point blank, but her gun jammed. Yep. And they, they barely saved, uh, apparently, narrowly saved Warhol's life. And the person who she tried to shoot in the head, if the gun would have went off, then she would have instantly been a killer. Oh, yeah. Well, even if she, you know, right now she's even, she's not even, it's bad enough already. I mean, just the fact that anyone that would go on a shooting spree, whether or not they got any kills, is someone who's not fit to be a member of society. I mean, what the fuck? Mm hmm? I mean, watch what happens when a man goes out shooting people, even if he don't kill anybody. Matter of fact, downgrade that one a bit. Fucking just waving a gun out in public, shooting shots out into the air, hitting nothing. Yeah. And what's he labeled as? Crazy fucking nut job. Yeah, he's labeled as a fucking terrorist. Yep.